Hi guys, it's Keenan Banias. Um, we are having the first solo podcast for Dragon Ball Super discussion, which uh, I'm great instead of doing episode to episode to episode like a lot of other um, YouTubers and anime bloggers are doing, I decided I'm going to break them down from arc to arc because I really think it's it may, it's easier to talk about after it's all done and you can like just absorb it in, you know? So the first one I'm going to talk about is the God of Destruction saga, which um, the main characters are Goku, obviously, because he is the main character of the series, Lord Beerus, who is Universe 7's God of Destruction, and Whis, who is Beerus' attendant. Those are pretty much the main characters. The binary characters are everyone else. They help push the story, but they're not, like, the main focus of the story. So, I'm just going to go into, like, the quick intro is the combination of the first couple of episodes we have is that uh, peace is on Earth again after, you know, Majin Buu is destroyed. So, Goku is now just a lowly farmer, radish farmer, who occasionally does martial arts because he wants to keep up with his training just in case, uh, just in case, um, you know, someone bigger than Marjin Buu comes along, which is fairly understandable, but also, like, you know, very Goku, but fairly selfish. I always, I love Goku, but I kind of can tell he's kind of a self-centered person, which is here nor there. So, it then becomes more of a Goten-centric episode after you know, Goku and Goten are just hanging out, like, farming, where Goten wants to get a perfect gift for his sister-in-law, Videl, for Gohan and Videl's wedding. They're recently married, uh, and also a lot of Gohan's character of, like, he's gonna become a scholar is really, you know, hitting on the head here that, like, he's not his dad. So, Trunks and Goten go on this small mini-adventure that allows them to um, find perfume for Videl, but they have to fight a snake to reach said perfume. So it, they, it, they get it. And the moment that really is just a very character moment is Videl smiling and accepts the present and just says how much she loves it, even though it's just water. So it, like I said, the first couple of episodes are very slice of life which I'm super okay with. Like, you don't, I don't, I don't like the whole, like, action right away, brah. At least they're, like, building up to it. Which builds up to Goku getting, um, a hundred million zenny from Mr. Satan, who has just been, uh, lying about beating Majin Buu, like Mr. Satan does. Like, he did it with the Cell games, he's doing it with Majin Buu now, and, um... There's a funny scene where Mr. Satan is trying to calm Boo down. He's like, he's my apprentice. He's not, obviously. And Boo's about to, like, you know, go ape shit and destroy stuff. He's like, no, 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 I'll get you more food later. D don't, don't destroy anything. And Boo's like, fine. So he gives Goku the 100 million zenny because he's like, I don't really need it. And I technically didn't do this. So, like, I kind of feel bad if I took this. And Goku's like, oh my gosh, thank you. I'm going to give this to Chi-Chi, and she is going to let me train on King Kai's planet. Which, <laughs> Goku's one-mindedness is, like, the best thing ever to happen to him. He's like, I don't have to work for a while. So, it ends with him giving the money to Chi-Chi, and he's like, can you let me train for a while? And she's like, yeah, sure, 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 sure. And she's just counting the money, and he, you know, he, he Goku out. He instant transmissions out of there. So, the episode ends with Beerus being served uh, this feast, and uh, he's just woken up, and uh, he's just like, I had this weird dream in a vision, I don't know what it is, and we just like, hmm, let's go find out what this opponent is, okay? 
which goes into episode two, Goku arrives on King Kai's planet, and uh, it's more of the Vegeta Bulma centric episode. Vegeta's character is shown where he's like, I promised Trunk I would take him to the park, and it's the beach. Apparently, the park and the beach co correlate together because it's kind of an amusement park on the beach, and uh, it's just a very slice of life episode for Vegeta, and it's just very, very interesting. And uh, Vegeta, you know, what is uh, really important about this episode is Beerus and Whis uh, are on an alien planet in search for dinosaur meat because Beerus is hungry. And they're confronted by a person who, just like Goku, has transformation powers. And he's like, oh, you transformed. That's very interesting. And he just obliterates him. Shortly afterwards, Beerus destroys the planet to have another vision and he uh he's like i'm destined to fight the super saiyan god and so fearing what might happen because it's just least episode three the old supreme kai and the supreme kai uh are like oh man beerus is up shit we're screwed he's uh he's destroying shit and like i don't want him to meet a certain person they're talking about goku so he goes to king kai and he's like just make sure Goku doesn't find out about, um, you know, Beerus. And Goku's like, who, what, what are you talking about? You brought me up? He's like, no, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. He's fine. Uh, <laughs> and he's super curious like Goku is. And, like, Beerus is back in his temple, and they're uh, trying to search for the Super Saiyan God. And they then Whis is like, well, I've never heard of a Super Saiyan God. But I have heard of Super Saiyans, and uh, there are only five Saiyans alive. Uh, three of them being hybrids, and two of them being full Saiyans. And uh, that's where Beerus finds out Goku defeated Frieza, who he hired to get rid of the Saiyans. Um, I don't know if that's going to be big in later arcs, but like that that's a huge hint that like Beerus is technically the reason why the Saiyans are destroyed. So... You know, they decide they're going to pay Goku a visit because he's on the King Kai's planet. And uh, back on Earth, everyone is gathering for Bulma's birthday. Except for Vegeta, because just like Vegeta, Vegeta is a lighter, lighthearted, more loving uh, Saiyan parent compared to Goku. Because Goku's like, fight, 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 fight. Vegeta's just like, I gotta, like, still kind of help for uh, their... So, like, episode five, I'm going to, like, kind of jump over because uh, <clears throat> it really is just the birthday party, which isn't the main part of the arc. Like, the main part of the arc is, like, King Kai finally explain. Like, the important part of episode four is that King Kai explains to Goku who Beerus exactly is and that every god has a yin to a yang. So, in order to keep the universe in balance... Um, Goku's like, he's strong, and he's like, no, 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 don't, don't do that, and then Beerus and Whis arrive, and he tells, he tells, uh, Goku's like, you need to hide, this could get really bad, please, please hide, and so it ends with, uh, it, uh, episode five is just basically the showdown with, uh, Goku and Beerus for the first time, where, uh, Beer, uh, they arrive, and uh, they detect Ghost's presence while he initially is disappointed that Goku was not the Super Saiyan God he was looking for, because Goku has no idea. Like, Goku wouldn't be the person to talk about Saiyan heritage anyways. He only just recently learned that he was a Saiyan, like, you know, ten years ago, that uh, he has knows nothing about that culture. Uh, Goku's like, hey, can I fight you? And Beerus is like, yeah, sure, I, I haven't had a fight in forever. And, uh, Goku just gets demolished in his highest form, Super Saiyan 3, just bam, done. And uh, Beerus just beats him, and Beerus is like, well, I'm going to go talk to Vegeta now, because I think he knows a little bit more than what you would know. And uh, so King Kai's freaking out, so he uses his telepathy just to let, it, let him know that, uh, you know, Beerus is coming, be careful. And uh, they arrive on Earth... 
Vegeta is paralyzed by the the presence of Beerus because like he just remembers his childhood a long time ago when Beerus visited planet Vegeta and threatened his father. Uh, shortly afterwards, uh, Bulma invites Beerus and Whis to join the party, and they're like, "Oh yeah, okay, there's food. Yeah, let's do it." And uh, because you know Earth food is different, they've never had this. And, you know, they start mingling, and Vegeta is just, like, trying his best just to, like, be like, hey, don't, don't, don't piss off this guy. He could basically fuck up our world. And so he, uh, you know, <laughs> he, Whis urges Beerus to try some pudding. And uh, who happens to have it? The Majin Buu. Of course, Boo is going to be the one who has it. Boo, the super, like, selfish, bloated person, is like, no, uh, I'm going to have the beards, these puddings to myself, and eat them all. And then Beerus attacks him. And uh, then that's where the craziness begins. Like, they're all fighting. And, you know... Go tanks and everyone are just fighting and none of them none of them are any match for Beerus and it takes Dende realizing that Beerus who actually Beerus is and he tells Piccolo before Piccolo is able to warn him Gohan up and charges Beerus using Majin Buu as a weapon Beerus repels uh, you know just throws Boo and just smacks him with like using him like nunchucks. Vegeta then confronts Beerus, uh, but he is swiftly brought to the ground. Beerus tells Vegeta that he is disappointed with him, and since he's weak as his father, just as Beerus is about to finish Vegeta, Bulma walks up and just smacks him in the face. Uh, you know, complaining that like you ruined my party. Like Bulma is also actually really drunk during this time too so like she has no giving no fucks given or whatever so this is where it gets all awesome Vegeta explodes in rage he's like how dare you hurt my Bulma and then they just get into this like charged battle and he manages to just take take a few punches out on Beerus but uh you know Beerus is only using like 10% of his power, just boom, knocks him out. Just as he's about to destroy the Earth, Beerus has a sudden idea. He decides to give the Earthlings, just like the guys, another chance of fearing their lives. Uh, <laughs> the Pilaf gang sails away on a rowboat, and thinking he is the same as Majin Buu because of a pink hue, Beerus picks Oolong out of the crowd and challenges him to a game of rock, paper, scissors to decide the fate of the Earth. Oolong manages to draw twice, but Beerus eventually wins and proceeds to power up his attack, just as Beerus is said is about to. Goku comes in and he's like, um, there has to be a way to find your Super Saiyan God. Uh, let's use Shenron. Yeah, Shenron. Goku gathers the Dragon Balls and summons Shenron. And like Shenron's like, what it takes six pure hearted Saiyans, five give the energy to one and like <laughs> you know they try it with Gohan, Gotenks, Goten, Trunks, Vegeta and Goku and they forgot their counting it's six pure hearted sayings five of which have to give to one and Videl's like does a quarter saying count and everyone's like what do you mean quarter saying those don't exist oh wait you're pregnant so you find out Videl is pregnant uh, so she's there, and she, they uh, put all their energy together, which is a very interesting scene because um, they uh, show Videl glowing, having a gold tint to her hair, like a Saiyan. So um, for me, that just implies that Pan will probably be able to go Super Saiyan, which no one has ever stated before in any canon of female Super Saiyans. But Pan will probably be able to go Super Saiyan. That's just the idea. And uh, Goku turns into a Super Saiyan God. So Goku is now a Super Saiyan God and he confronts Beerus. And they're having this immense battle. 
He's initially unable to grasp the newfound potential fighting with Beerus, uh, but Goku is just mad, just slowly but surely managing what it's like to be a god. And uh, But at the same time, Beerus is like, how do you like being a god? He's like, it's great, but I didn't do this myself. Like, I had to have people help me, and that makes me mad that I can't reach this level of strength without people helping me. So, having someone on the grip, he he's able to keep up with Beerus, you know, and uh, he soon realizes his opponent is still not fighting. He's realized Beerus isn't fighting as a maximum, and then Beerus is is only to motivate Vogue to catch up to catch up with him. To that end, Beerus drags Goku to space where he swiftly knocks him out. Goku comes like crashing down in it there and dumps him in the ocean. Amazed by such power, Goku gets excited and powers up. He heals himself in the process. So it shows that like the Super Saiyan God form has its like amazing abilities like healing and all that. And uh, so they're battling and they're battling and they're battling and they're battling and like Piccolo notices it. Goku, like, everyone is like, Piccolo's like, they're, Beerus seems like he's more training Goku than anything else. And everyone's like, what, really? They're like, yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what it's like. Because, like, Goku and Beerus are like, oh, you're really having fun with this. Like, I'm glad you're putting in your full potential. And even Goku's like, I actually haven't reached my full potential yet. I'm just, like, you know, playing around. He's like, what? He's like, I know you're hiding stuff, too. So Beerus is like, fine, just goes all out. And all of a sudden, in mid-battle, like, Goku's power, Super Saiyan God, dissipates. But he's still able to, quote-unquote, keep up with Beerus. And Beerus is like, fine, I'll destroy the Earth. So Beerus uh, takes, you know, the planet-destroying attack and just blasts it up. And Goku's like, no, I can't let him destroy the Earth. And uh, he's just like, fine, Kamehameha. And he's just blasting through. And he's manageable to able to stop it, but, like, wear himself out, too. And that's where, like, Beerus explains to him, you know, there's multiple universes. Whis is actually quite stronger than I am. He trained me, actually. And uh, they, go, they go down, and Beerus is about to destroy the Earth, and instead, he passes out. Just bleh. And which concludes the Battle of the Gods arc. Um... He gets a bento box with sushi, and he's like, I'm going to destroy the Earth because they, like, they, they made this terrible thing called wasabi or whatever. And so, they, they you know, that's, that's pretty much it. So, that's the end of the Battle of the Guards arc. What I, what I wanted to end with this is, like, it's important to, it, is it a lackluster, is it a bad arc? No. It's not an amazing arc. And the only reason I don't personally think it's amazing is that they put out a 2012 movie called Battle of the Gods, which is, this is what the arc is, is basically a long retelling of that arc, of that movie, which is all fine and dandy and all. And, you know, instead of, you know, you, you flesh out the fight a little bit more, which is, okay I guess I thought the Battle of the Gods fight was a lot cooler in the movie than it was in the anime I just think that the anime did it kind of better because it wasn't like wonky 3D in some parts that the uh, the movie did um, and uh, you know it's a I love I love Battle of the Gods as a movie and I do really enjoy this arc like, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Like, I mean, it could be better, but it's... Come on, it's Dragon Ball Z back at its finest, almost. So, and I think you needed this arc because this arc literally throws so many hints to what is going to come. So I really, again, I think you should check out Dragon Ball Super. I personally enjoy it. I do not, like... It's not on the caliber of Dragon Ball. Like, I like my my list right now goes Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super. So it goes down because I really love Dragon Ball because it's a great story. Dragon Ball Super is really, Dragon Ball Z is great for, uh, you know, 
badass action, and Dragon Ball Super is a hybrid of both, but not a good hybrid of both. It's still a good show, it's just not on caliber of the first previous shows. So, um, I'm Keanu Banyas, and this was uh, Fanime, the Dragon Ball Super Recaps. I think it's just going to be called the Dragon Ball Super Recaps. Uh, the Battle of the Gods arc. Uh, hopefully I'll make more of these. So, later guys.